Hi, welcome to Group 2's Business Entrepreneurship Presentation for Assessment 2. Have you ever been in a situation where you've called up a company and made a complaint only for your complaint either get lost, unanswered or unresolved? This process can be so frustrating and finding the right person to talk to about your complaints feels near impossible sometimes with companies outsourcing their call centers and often you find the person on the end of the phone doesn't have a suitable program to actually lodge your complaint in. Therefore, there's no resolution to your complaint leading to poor customer relationship management outcomes. Other programs on the market that deal with customer complaints tend to misplace complaints lodge, make it hard for operators and employees of companies to keep track of the specific complaints. And as a result, many of these go unresolved every day, leaving companies with customers who are unhappy. Well, what we've done to combat that is design a well thought out program to address those issues called SCP, which stands for Satisfied Customer Program. It's all in the name. We have developed a standalone customer driven complaint software program that addresses issues with current programs on the market and aims to provide companies with methods of managing customer complaints without losing quality assurance. Our software program is well designed and a practical customer complaints program that aims to be more customer focused and detailed complaint log system that is easy for operators to use, allocates one staff member per complaint, which holds operators and companies accountable to resolve those issues, and introduces a flagging system that monitors and keeps operators up to date with the complaint where it is in the queue so they can update customers. Other software programs in the market incorporate customer complaints management as a small and often poorly designed feature of their software program meaning it does not have the focus software development or detailed oriented features to pursue customer complaints properly. We also offer online training modules to provide companies who purchase our program with the means to train their staff and offer online support should any issues arise with our program. Our program can be rolled out all over the world and could help revolutionize customer management and provide a vital service in the customer complaint process world. In order to come up with our solution and address these customer pain points, we adopted a specific design thinking tool to help us develop our program. Design thinking can nurture creativity and innovation and is useful problem solving method becoming very popular in management and the business world. Surratt in 2017 described it as using the sensibilities and methodologies that characterize designers to create new ideas, new alternatives, new choices, and new viabilities that satisfy stakeholder desires. Design thinking is thought of as more of a sympathetic human process that allows detection of market needs and therefore an ability to build or create ideas that are meaningful to consumers, that are well constructed and purposeful that conventional problem solving practices don't always allow for. In order to design a program that would target our customers needs, we used the Stanford five stage model design thinking tool. We chose this tool as it focused on collaboration between designers, users and customers to implement a human centered design process that included five stages, empathize, define, ideate, prototype, and test. Stage one, empathize. This stage was really useful for collecting valuable information, feedback, therefore to develop an understanding of what problems, needs, and suggestions our customers and users find they have issues with with current customer complaints program features. Stage two, define. This stage was useful in compiling and organizing the feedback and determining what core problems need to be addressed and helped our team focus on what functions and features our customers and users would like to see in our program. Stage three, IDA. This stage, will, this stage was really useful for brainstorming and expressing different innovative ideas among the team. Through this brainstorm, clearer ideas and a better software program that addressed customer pain points was shaped. Stage four, prototype. This stage was pr prototype phases where an initial version of our program was shared among companies to test out the program in its early stages and allows us to experiment with and hone in what features and design elements need to be excluded or improved upon. Stage five. This final stage of the five stage model is where the newly revised and tested program can be released for purchase for companies in the hopes that the prototype stage has addressed most of the issues. However, this stage can be repeated multiple times when further issues arise or feedback comes to us, you know, a continuous opportunity for redevelopment really. The stages of this model were attractive to us because it can be conducted in a linear or non-linear approach. So this method ensures our business idea can gain and utilize in-depth informative insights into how we should innovate, redesign, or potentially expand our market solution. 
the model with its ability to take information obtained from each stage and be recurrently used to gain new insights means our proposed market solution, our customer complaints program, has the room to take on feedback, evolve over time, to develop further solutions to issues our customers and users may face with our product in the future. As previously mentioned, we utilise Stanford's five-stage model design thinking tool as the original foundation of our applied design thinking when developing our software. However, Simon's five-stage model has been the main tool applied to our satisfied customer program. This tool has allowed us to correctly identify our customers' predicted pain points and to validate that although these pain points may occur, we truly believe our program can be better suited to today's society. We applied the first step in Simon's five-step model, Empathize, for various reasons. Some of the pain points that are experienced in regard to empathy largely involve understanding human needs and in this case, understanding our customers' needs. Regarding our satisfied customer program, our target customers are current markets or businesses that are looking to have a more customer-driven approach when it comes to a complaint log system. Most of the time, customers struggle to be heard by their companies and receive validation and support of the issues they are experiencing. We applied this first step by developing a software that will allow customers to communicate with a human being and not a machine, and who will understand from the customers how they feel, what they hear, what they say and do, and what they see. This was applied, firstly, by the development of a survey, which was sent out to our target customers in order to gain feedback and information on what problems, needs, and suggestions our customers have. As you can see on the slide, our survey are simple questions to represent the simplicity of our software. Customers gain quicker response time, reduced language barriers and reduced judgment by using satisfied customer program, which are all pain points that were identified from this survey. For example, these issues were targeted by the simple step of allocating one staff member per complaint. As mentioned, this not only holds companies accountable to resolve their customer issues, but it allows the customers to gain the attention and commitment they deserve to feel like their needs are valid. The main emphasis on this step was understanding our customers. By sending out a survey allowing them to express their thoughts and needs, it validates that this step was and continues to be thoroughly considered and adjusted in order to meet our satisfied customer program's full potential. By adopting divergent thinking, it allowed us to have multiple possibilities, which can be seen in this section of our mind map, showing our initial brainstorming of possibilities for the current and future direction of our software. We also adopted empathy mapping, which is a focus from step one. We utilise this tool as one of our main goals is the satisfaction of our customers with our software, which inevitably comes down to the key aspects of step one, empathise, which revolves around understanding their needs and then us meeting them. The concept development of focusing in on three main aspects, quicker response time, reduced language barriers and reduced judgment was where we shifted to convergent thinking. Define is the second step of Simon's five-step model. Following this step has allowed us the ability to reframe our original ideas and define them in order to support our customer problems and to pinpoint the direction of our software. We have used this process to focus on how we can improve the simplicity, response time and language barrier that our customers have experienced previously, which is valuable information we gained from our survey. This information allowed us to make reporting issues or asking for help a much safer, faster and more simple task to complete. Once we collected the information from this survey and was able to hear from the customers themselves about their needs, we were able to apply this second step by organising and determining the core issues to be addressed. This step was extremely important in order to build the direction of the software and to design the appropriate functions that our customers want to see. During the third phase, IDA, we explored our possibilities in considering what aspects of our program we wanted to use as a competitive advantage over similar softwares. This concept involved divergent thinking, which allowed us to focus on our competitive edge in making our software not only more efficient, but also more popular. When it came to the fourth step, prototyping, we adopted a hands-on approach by testing our software for free 
with the multiple middle level companies. This allowed us to not only see how efficiently our software ran, but to also hear firsthand from customers themselves, allowing direct feedback and a practical approach to perfecting our software. This also allowed the scenario that if our software failed, it would fail fast, allowing us to reevaluate and improve faster. Not only did we implement this process, but we also created a storyboard showing the process of what our software would look like and how it would be used. This allowed our prototype customers to visually see where the software was going and to help make changes for the better, allowing instant feedback if there were clear issues. One of our main focuses was also to develop a software that in the long run was cheaper to use compared to our competitors. Most softwares, like Satisfied Customer Program, usually are time consuming and expensive. However, our new product uses faster response time and has a reduced cost, coming to $13 per month, compared to competitive software such as Jira, who comes to $15 per month. Our prototype and test steps were done consecutively allowing us the ability to adapt and improve as the feedback rolled in. We adopted the test card from the StrapGeyser website to plan our hypothesis and simplify our goals, which can be seen on this slide. The use of applying the StrapGeyser test card allowed us to develop the key questions in another survey that was sent to those middle level companies using the software for the first time. The aim of this survey was to support the instant feedback we needed to excel our software and to know if it was making a positive difference to the needs of its users. The first step of this was a simple thumbs up or thumbs down if the software was well liked or not. There were then further questions allowing the customers to comment further on each of our main sections, being quicker response time, reduced language barrier and reduced judgment. Some of these questions can be seen on the slide. This survey also allowed us to establish quickly what was working and what wasn't, which allowed us the ability to improve our program and improve the speed to which our software was sent out to more companies to be used. This ensured repeat business and cements the fact that the customers remain businesses best advertising which is why Simon's five-step model was used so thoroughly when developing our software. The first stage of Simon's five stages of design thinking is empathize, and this can be done by researching customer needs, issues, problems, and pain points. The researching customer reviews across small to large businesses from retail to financial sectors, some of the most common issues, problems, and pain points of customers include not getting a response or too slow in getting a response, not speaking with the same business representative and needing to repeat the issue repeatedly, and being referred on and on to different people of the business, not feeling like a valued customer or that any resolution will follow. Defining common and wide-ranging customer issues led to the idea that there is a gap in quicker and simple solutions to manage customer issues that would be quicker and more simple for businesses too. While there are many customer records management systems, they are usually quite complex and not focused on custom issues. Then there's a few such as Jira that can incorporate customer issues or complaints management, but all of these management systems are for the primary function of information gathering or data collection, rather than satisfying customer needs. To fill this gap and the needs of customers with issues, problems and pain points, the Satisfied Customer Program has been developed as a prototype management system specifically designed for effective and efficient management of customer issues. Authorities such as consumer rights departments and ombudsman offices are highlight large numbers of customer issues that are resulting in wait times of two to six months before customer issues can be heard by authorities. For example, the Australian Financial Complaints Authority report an average of 72 days to resolve consumer complaints. SCP has been designed with not only the customer in mind, but businesses also. A lot of time can be spent and can be lost on consumer issues, but SCP has simplified the entire process of customer issues to ensure satisfied customers and satisfied businesses as the result. 
First of all, SCP is an innovative design because it isn't complex or complicated. While other management programs for customers have become more complex and complicated, more time that is money is spent working on them. SCP, however, has one primary focus, making it a simple and straightforward solution for businesses to satisfy customers with issues and to satisfy businesses managing them. Prototype, the Satisfy Customer Program differentiates itself from other business programs because it offers detailed yet uncomplicated customer complaint register that customers can enter into directly or staff can enter for them, which ensures their problems and issues don't get lost in emails or phone calls. Automatic allocation of one staff member per customer complaint, ensuring customers are not getting the runaround or needing to repeat their issues to other staff members, resulting in repeating the negative aspect of their experience. Automatic alerts or flags sent to staff members dedicated to each complaint that is set individually by businesses in accordance with their acceptable time limits for each complaint. Automatic alerts or flags also sent to management staff or staff members dedicated to each complaint that ensures no oversight of customer complaints and individual and business specific resolutions built into the resolutions section of the SCP that ensures management remains in control of resolutions offered and eliminates accidental overpromising and underdelivering by staff members. Test. The first stages of testing the SCP prototype are carried out by our experts who specialize in technology, communications, business finance, and marketing. With this wide range of expertise, the first stage te of testing by SCP provides businesses with true confidence that no stone has been left unturned when it comes to their customer satisfaction and our customer satisfaction, which are the businesses purchasing the program. The final stage of testing is by users, that are the businesses, wanting to ensure their customer satisfaction. At the prototype stage, SCP is offered for free for a limited time to gather feedback from businesses and their customers for continuous improvement. Ultimately, with SCP, satisfying customer issues simply, quickly, and personally is the greatest potential for repeat business and how positive word of mouth by satisfied customers is achieved. For a limited time, businesses can trial SCP for free and experience what a difference satisfied customer program makes. After the free trial of three months, SCP doesn't charge multiple subscription fees or complicated contracts like many other programs. And SCP has one yearly license renewal, which includes many added benefits such as regular updates and upgrades.